everybody i'm gonna present you today the washing machine motor tahoe coil which is this one here so we're gonna start straight away all right friends we're gonna start by this uh, by having having a look of this uh, washing machine motor tahoe coils which is here inside and we will see if we can take this one apart maybe doesn't want to go we're gonna have a look inside to see if we're gonna be able to change it or do something with it alrighty then let's see if this one is gonna rotate uh so this one you got there is an n here i don't know what that means but there is a stuff here which is attached to the rotor you see when the rotor is uh, moving this stuff moves as well uh, how the fuck we're gonna take this one apart hmm? let's see able to take it apart or should be easy because this is a replaceable part but not quite huh all right okay we're going out friends i don't know this is the proper way to do it but it's moving and okay maybe which actually is a bit brute force. What the fuck is holding here? Ah, damn it! All right, so the wires was uh, clipped here under this stuff. We unclipped them, and now this one should be easy to take apart. Come on, bastard! Jesus! Uh huh. Here you go. Here you go. Could be a coil inside here. I'm guessing this is similar to the microwave oven motor. I'm guessing inside here is a coil. And where are the magnets? If there are any. Oh, let's see. Another thing. Come on. Jesus. There you go. Alright, so this one. That's it. This one slides inside there. Hmm. Strange things. Strange. Oh the fuck. This one is rotating. It's got no magnets. Surprisingly, it's got no magnets inside. Let's see? No, it's got no magnets, friends. So how this one is guessing the speed. Hmm? Very interesting, very interesting, but unfortunately it's not going to be useful for us. Because I was imagining it's got some magnets, the magnets were spinning inside of this and it was generating some kind of power, but not quite. But there you have it, and it, just in case you your washing machine motor is going to break down and you're going to manage to have a fault like Tahoe fault or whatever, just replace this one. Fit it inside, put it back, like so, and there you have it. I think it was like so, no? There you go. That's it. New one. What this one does, I don't know, friends. Maybe if you know and let me know in the comments below, I will appreciate it. Till the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Yeah! Dirty as hell.